Hey guys, welcome back to our channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep interacting with our channel, our content We appreciate you guys. Hope you're doing alright and may you stay blessed Um motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll check it out uh, whatever you have to uh share with us feel free to comment down below your comments are always welcome um so today i'm going to be reacting to heavily tattooed guy accepts islam and gets hit on social media but before that feel free to find us on facebook and instagram say hi we'll say hi back we go by fanny and jesse our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so without wasting time let's get into the video gone are the days when everyone thought the internet would offer a happy place for free and joyful expression the rise of social media anonymity and lack of regulation have turned the web into fertile ground for hateful and hurtful messages however that doesn't mean the love isn't still there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First, I'm a revert. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I'd like to ask, is Iman external or is Iman internal? When your heart beats, it goes kutuf, kutuf. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. If my heart goes la ilaha illallah and your heart goes la ilaha illallah, then we should be brothers and sisters. Hamza is a new Muslim TikToker from Cape Town that is showing all the good in Islam through tours in the oldest mosques to hiking up to the mountains and reciting the holy book of Quran. Islam in South Africa was developed hundreds of years ago through the migrations of slaves and has flourished enough to become the country's fastest growing religion. South Africa's beautiful capital Cape Town was actually ranked as the fourth best travel destination for Muslim travelers in the 2017 Global Muslim Travel Index. When Hamza picks up his mobile and presses the record button, it's quite easy to see why. The scenic view in the front leaves, no doubt of how incredibly natural the surroundings are, coupled with his soft voice and great message, every viewer is left in total awe. Hamza was actually born a Jew and spent most of his childhood years exercising the traditional Jewish routine, then after a few years, converted to Christianity and practiced the Bible. But he still wasn't at peace. No matter what religion he practiced, what divine book he studied, or what God he followed, it just didn't feel right to Hamza. Allah says in the Quran, And God guides whom he wills to a straight path. When the whom truly recognizes God, prays to him alone, and sincerely promises to seek and follow his religion of truth, then there really isn't anything that is going to come in the way of Allah's guidance. So when Hamza set out to seek Haqq, the ultimate truth, he found Islam and met peace in the hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Soon enough, he accepted Islam and officially became a Muslim. Hamza says in one of his videos, Peace be upon the messenger, because without the messenger, none of this would have been possible. I'd have been lost without any guidance. I would have never found Islam. We thank Allah for Islam. We thank Nabi, peace be upon him, for Islam. Today, Brother Hamza has attracted a following of millions through his TikTok videos where he talks about Islam and gives da'wah pertaining to the peaceful religion. Most converts like Brother Hamza, worry that their past will catch up to them on the Day of Judgment. They might be punished for their wrongdoings or judged for their disbelief. However, Brother Hamza gives hope by mentioning how he too has made many mistakes before he took his Shahada. But what keeps him going is belief in the forgiveness of Allah. Hamza mentions the story of Hazrat Adam salam, the father of all Muslims, how he made a grave mistake following Iblis's directions instead of Allah's Almighty's orders. But then, Adam salam begged for Allah Almighty's forgiveness, and he was forgiven. Brother Hamza reminds his viewers, Allah forgave Adam, 
the first person in this dunya to make a mistake was forgiven, and that shows that we can be forgiven too. He has fully tattooed face and sleeves of ink on his arms too, and that does tend to attract a few disrespectful messages, but he doesn't let them get in the way of him pursuing Islam. Hamza believes that Allah sees a person's iman and not the markings of their past. He sends a message to all the people that suspect he isn't a true Muslim by saying, My objective on this platform is not to please others or listen to the negativity of others. Because the only one I am to please in this dunya is Allah and Allah alone. Subhanallah. May Allah grant all of us such sincerity in Iman, with people like Hamza broadcasting a healthy image of Islam. Hope is invigorated in Muslims around the world, especially those that struggle to even dream about practicing their faith openly. It's easy for us to focus on external features of a person and pinpoint how they need to do better so Allah Almighty loves them more. Hamza shows how it's only what the heart is enriched with that truly matters. He explores the idea of enrichment and says, Wealth is deepness in the connection with Allah and the Sunnah of Nabi, peace be upon him. No card or note of money can bring anybody close to Nabi, peace be upon him, and the Creator, Allah. Rich is taqwa. Rich is the Sunnah. Rich is a faith in Allah. Masha Allah, how profound is that? Many of us are actually Muslims by birth, and it's too easy to take that for granted. Hamza shows how beloved Islam truly is, how soulful its message is, and reminds us what religion means. May Allah bless Hamza. Ameen. I'm sure that he was actually Jew and Christian, a Jew and a Christ, practicing Christian at some point. Um, of course, I see why people would judge, you know. Even when I got the, had the information that he was a Jew Christian, I was like, what? How can he, how, how could he have been that, you know, based on just the appearance? Which we people do, um, I may not have said it, but I thought it. And now I'm saying it, you know. We're fond of judging people, whether we know it or don't know it, whether we're aware or we're not aware, we judge people constantly you know um the jews um allow people to tattoo their bodies that's something i would love to know otherwise uh it's absurd that we sit here as if we're the holy ones and question people's truth as to why they're doing something like why is he muslim why is that person christian why is this person converting to this you know we're not righteous and we're not going to be the ones with the final say i love the fact that despite being despite receiving negative um comments on social media he tells people that he's not there for those uh negative thoughts and those won't stop him from practicing islam which is a very very good thing one thing i've noticed about people that practice islam is that that they're comfortable with what they are, who they are. So once someone says something, they don't exactly just believe it then and then. That's a kind of mindset mindset we should all have. Just because someone is saying um, you're ugly doesn't mean stop practicing or believing what you believe in. Or don't let that just pull your esteem down. You know, Don't let people control how you live based on their comments. Meeting these people in person, they wouldn't even say half the things they say, you know. Let's respect people, whether he's converted, whether he's done what, that's his job, whether he's faking it, whether he's not. It's a win-win because he's spreading the word of God, you know. And um, it's really insane that we have to pull people down by saying all these negative things. The issue is not them, the issue is us. Why not drop something? You don't know. First of all, you don't know what someone is going through. So why not drop a very positive and beautiful message? The people out there that just say, "Have a good day. God bless you. Thank you. I receive those blessings." You know, or oh, well done with what you've done. Do you know how it feels like when people that don't know you are praising you for something that you did? Maybe you are not even sure about it, and it takes 
a lot for certain people to come out and say i'm practicing this i'm practicing that or i'm this whatever it is you know a big shout out to him for even coming out of course people are going to judge because of his tattoos but because he's comfortable in his religion he's not letting people uh put him down despite his tattoos and um you know what islam is a forgiving religion his past is the past you can't take back those tattoos you can't take back what he's done in the past just like we seen on a daily basis too you know we can't take back our past but if we've decided to, if we've decided to follow a more righteous way give people the chance to grow in that righteousness they're trying to follow you know support them encourage them and let them shine through art you know with of course your help if you're willing to help let me know what you guys actually think um please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below i'll check it out feel free to comment concerning this video your thoughts are always welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video